Today marks the fourth straight day American Airlines canceled flights for hundreds of passengers. It's turned into a travel nightmare with passengers wondering when are they going to be able to go home? Coco McAvoy, she has some answers for us. She joins us in the studio now with more. Coco. Good afternoon to both of you. And in the span of four days, 10% of Americans' flights have been canceled, leaving thousands of passengers stranded. And with staffing shortages and weather delays, some people are still waiting for answers. As soon as I got here, I got a text message that my flight was canceled. They, they had no crew. And he's not alone. Countless travelers getting similar texts from American Airlines, with thousands of flights canceled over the weekend and into Monday, leaving passengers stranded. Many being told it could take up to three days to get them home. I don't really know what we're going to do. We, have, we don't have any options. American canceled more than 250 flights before noon on Monday. That makes more than 2,000 since the problems began on Friday. In that four-day period, about 10% of the airline's passenger flights have been scrapped, and some travelers say they still haven't spoken to anyone at American about rebooking. Any kind of information would have been great, but like I said, I'm just getting texts day after day saying this got canceled, we're trying to rebook you. It's just a very like robotic process. Staffing and weather shortages are reportedly to blame. High winds knocked out service at its main hub, Dallas-Fort Worth, leaving the airline scrambling to move thousands of pilots and flight attendants to their next assignments. But that never happened, leading to serious questions about whether American needs a logistical overhaul. The problem is the airlines these days, especially American and Southwest, they're really extending themselves, where you know they don't have a lot of people on reserve, it's towards the end of the month when a lot of the flight attendants and pilots have maxed out their hours. As for the staffing shortages, American plans to ramp up hiring before the end of the year with 600 new employees on the way. Alex? Yeah, we assume I guess they'll be vaccinated. Uh, Coco, thank you so much.